my context, the political mm. implications of fear, mm. you know, and how a fear is used as a tool of controlling populations, controlling people, mm -hmm. and, and, and what it feels like when the police are not a part of um, alleviating fear, mm -hmm. but a part of the context of creating more fear itself. So, mm -hmm. you know, what, what it feels like to be in a community where the historical context is social control by means of terror mm -hmm. and fear. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember an interesting story. We, we have um, periodic trips we do uh, to Ghana. It was, it was very interesting. The first year we did it in 2009 with a, a group of kids, the, the parents almost became obstructionists. Mm -hmm. You know, there was one kid raised by a grandmom and, and she really almost had to get disrespectful in her response to her grandma. I'm going whether you want me to or not. And it took a while uh, for me to peel back how debilitating fear had become mm -hmm. in our context. Mm -hmm. And that people literally held on to their children it really unhealthily stifling their ability to be exposed to the world. But feeling like they might lose them if they did this trip. Well, because right. the context right. is one of compounded fear. Right. And so I remember the log jam being broken because we had a conversation with the parents. And then I personally had to go in, uh, you know, and talk to parents in a group and they were, um, and finally, you know, just uh, it, with a sense of, truthfulness, I told him I couldn't guarantee you nothing was going to happen mm -hmm. on this international trip, that they were going to be 100% safe. But I will tell you this, given the context that we live in, mm -hmm. they'll be safer leaving here going to Ghana this summer mm -hmm. than they would if they yeah. just stayed on the west side of Chicago. And it's interesting, that was the logic that broke the log jam mm -hmm. of the parents. Mm -hmm. it, uh, just how you know, um, debilitating fear is, particularly among um, oppressed and or exploited people. It, it is, fear is used to control people, and it's probably why the scripture is anti-fear. Uh, um, because that is, I mean, it, it actually, faith is the road to liberation in a very practical sense. Mm -hmm.